Hey, greetings to your friends. Harry here. Harry GTV. Thanks for tuning in. And today we're going to talk about my 2006 Ford F250 6 liter diesel. This is my work truck. And uh, man, I love this truck. Um, I've had this truck about 10 years now. It's got over 500,000 miles on it. And uh, I just love this truck. Uh, so it's getting old some of the things on it are not working like they like they did so um one thing that's kind of a a drag especially towing a trailer is my heated mirrors quit working a few years back and uh let's see here yeah all right there we are so a few years back my heated mirrors quit working and I did some diagnosing on it and found out that the heated mirror relay had gone bad. Well, the problem with that is they had integrated that relay into the fuse box. Integrated meaning that it's a permanent piece, you know, it's, it's, it's in there, it's part of the circuitry, it's soldered in somewhere. I've never taken one apart to, to actually see it, but that's what it is. So I've got no power output on the on the heated mirror wire circuit and so I kind of didn't pursue it but you know I'm getting older now I'm in my I'm in my middle ages I'm getting lazy I don't want to come out and scrape the ice off the mirrors and that's probably gonna mess them up you know so they're already scratched up a bit uh, anyway so what I want to show you here in this video is the remedy I did I didn't want to buy a new a new fuse panel because they're kind of expensive several hundred dollars and at this time in our culture we probably couldn't get one so anyway I got a quick fix for it I'm gonna show you how I did it okay all right stay tuned all right so I don't know how good you're gonna be able to see this it's kind of dark in here and let's see if I can turn on the light if that helps uh, I don't know why it would but the camera might like it all right, so we're here for pinpoint tests for our heated mirrors. The heated mirror does not defrost. And if we click on that, expand it, it'll actually tell us to, it goes through this whole thing. Actually, by the way, this is kind of a, a lesser known fact here. If we read this, um, a lot of people think the heated mirrors, and this may be true in some applications, but on these, this generation of Super Duty, um, here it's got the, um, the, like, theory of operation here. It says, the power exterior rear view mirrors are available with heated glass option, which heats the mirror glass to remove frost, snow, ice, and condensation. The heated exterior mirror system does not have a switch. The mirror glass is heated any time the ignition is in the on position. Power is supplied to the heated exterior mirrors by the heated mirror relay, which is active any time the ignition is in the on position. So there's this kind of idea, and like I said, some applications may be different, that, you know, heated mirrors only work when the defrost is on, or heated mirrors only work when it's below a certain ambient temperature. But, I mean, uh, not a, not on this particular vehicle. This thing, I mean, it, it could be 110 out, and this relay is supposed to be powered up. So, that's the way it works. It doesn't seem to affect uh, the longevity of the heating elements or anything like that. I, I don't remember ever changing one myself. And this is the first one, and there's, man, there's there's hundreds, thousands of these trucks around, and this is the first heated mirror issue I'm hearing of, and it's on my own truck. So I'm sure there's exceptions. I'm sure they're out there. Everything kind of goes bad, but that's the way this one works. And, you know, ever since it quit working, it I can see why it stays on. Because when you're pulling a trailer, you don't pull a trailer every day. You don't really think about your mirrors and how important they are. But you can roll through a, a, a humid area uh, maybe where it's just rained or something, and the, and the mirrors will fog up almost instantly. And you don't have your mirrors for several miles, really. But with this, the way these work, the way they stay powered up all the time, um, that's something I never noticed until they quit working. Now, 
when I do go through a patch of fog or a patch of a, just a humid, you know, dense air area, they'll fog up. So I'm, I'm glad I don't have to mess with it. So anyway, here's what I want to see. By the way, since we're looking at this, this thing gives you this test, which is incorrect. It tells you to disconnect the heated mirror relay. This one cost me a little time several years back when I when I looked into this. It's on it says carry out the heat uh carry out the heated mirror relay component test and tells you, you know, is it okay? If it's not, no, install new new relay. I actually called some tech support on this to make sure I wasn't going crazy and they confirmed the the, the relay is integrated integrated into the fuse box. So it can you just can't take it out. So you'd have to take the fuse box out of the vehicle, disassemble it, and solder a new one onto the board. So I didn't want to do that. Didn't like I said before, didn't want to get a new fuse box as they're very expensive. So I'm gonna show you what I did. So let's see if we can go to another part of the screen here. I've got a circuit up, and here's here's the circuit. It's just a very simple circuit. So this is the the fuse box, central junction box behind the lower side of dash. I'm going to show you all this. So here's the heated mirror relay. Um, so you got a hot at all times from fuse 39, 15 amp. And then you have a hot in the run position on fuse 27, which powers the, uh, the coil here on the relay. Um, and then which pulls it in. So it's, 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 it's latched whenever the key is on or whenever it's in the run position. And then on, let's see, connector 270J, uh, circuit seven, the gr dark green and violet wire goes right out and then it breaks out, goes to left and right side mirrors. Okay. So let me show you what I did. Okay. Stand by and we will head right over to the vehicle. All right. So here's what i do and i'm already kind of halfway into this so here's what i decided to do i'm going to show you what this looks like so here's our here's our central junction box our our, our uh, dash fuse box here it's bolted in with four bolts and you can get the bolts out pull that thing out You've got a little room to work so and, and by the way i've got a old fuse box here now this one's bad this was off a similar year i think this was off a of 06 f250 also the problem with this is the fuel pump relay is bad which is also integrated so i, I don't understand there, this has been um we've seen this over the years where these integrated circuit uh boxes um with relays and fuses that are you know s soldered to the board where you can't change them there there's a i don't understand the advantage of that uh i'm sure there is an advantage to somebody but it's certain certainly isn't the end user um but anyway that's why and that's why i just can't put this one in uh because i know what's wrong with it plus it's it's not the same part number this is it's got different accessories and different circuits in it but anyway i want to show you so that connector 270J, 16 pin connector. So there's how that thing sits in there. Okay, there's the other one. And the, the, the 270J is this back one. So it'd be the one, two, three, fourth one over um, from the right. It's kind of right in the center, right on the, on the back, right close to that bolt hole. And if we look in here, uh, it is, I know this is kind of a, I'm doing my best to show you what this looks like here, because if you have this problem, it's not that hard to fix. So it's the one, let's see, you may just have to take my word on it. You can see it here. I, I can't get the camera in there any better, but anyway, that's the one and you can See, it's the fourth one over there. Anyway, what I did was on circuit number seven. Folks, I know this is horrible. Let's see if I can get it just a little better. On circuit number seven, you can see I clipped the wire. It is the dark green violet. I don't even think that, that light is helping. It's just tight here. No, that's not helping. Anyway, 
on that connector there is a dark green and violet right here my fingers touching it there there's a dark green and violet wire dark green with a violet stripe that's the output from the from the heated mirror relay so what i decided to do uh just be i wanted something quick easy and effective so what i did was i clipped the wire and instead of finding a circuit that you know to splice into the easiest thing i could do see see this truck here has got these upfitter switches right here uh, most of the super duties do um i know they all don't but this one does so and those wires when you take this fuse box out you'll see these wires they look like this so I've, i'm already using two of them one of them is being used for one thing and here's the one i'm using for the mirrors they have these black little caps. There's four of them. They have these black little caps. They're already fused. They're already hot in the run position. All that. So what I chose to do was just, I chose the number one switch. It says aux one on it. Yep, that's it. Um, it's, a, it's a 30 amp rating. Uh, the mirror is rated for 15. So we're safe there. And so I just spliced into that. I cut my wire off my connector. And there it is dark green purple stripe and uh, I just placed it there with a butt connector crimped it and I've already tested it and it works so that's gonna do just what I needed to um, you know if you didn't you know there's several ways to skin a cat you know um, we we could have taken this apart we could have got a relay soldered one on you know took the old one off you know you know I don't even think there's any radio shacks around anymore, so I'm not even sure how that would work. We'd have to get something probably from the internet, do all that. Don't want to do it. Or I could have took it out. There's just so many ways we could have fixed it. So the I want it, like I said, cheap, easy, and effective. Um, we could have found another ignition circuit to tap into here. We could have fixed it a lot of ways. So the way I did it, I found sound like I'm kind of defensive on there because I, I know how people on the internet do. You know, they should have done it this way, should have done it that way. I don't care. Do it any way you want to. There's the connector. There's the circuit. And that's how I fix it. The upfitter wire for the upfitter switch. And uh, I already tested it. It works great. So if you're out there and you have this generation Super Duty and uh, the heated mirrors have quit working, uh, easy way to test them is to back probe that wire. Or what I did was I stabbed it there. And... Um, you should have power on the wire with the key on. So anytime the key's on, that wire should be hot going out to the mirrors. If it is hot, then you probably have a problem with your mirrors. The glass elements are, are bad or whatever, and you can test that a different way. But this is what it was for me, so I hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Grace and peace to you.